right, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna do a versus video between the Cobalt single-handed recip saw against the brand new Ryobi HP single-handed reciprocating saw. Now, both of these tools are very handy when it comes to cutting wood. And so I've been wanting to do this one for a while. I can't believe I haven't done it yet. I also need to do these against uh, the Cobalt versus against DeWalt. And I need to get more brands of this tool like Milwaukee and Bosch. And I think Craftsman makes one. Maybe I'm not sure about that. But yeah, I definitely need to get the Bosch and Milwaukee one soon. And, right, but we're going to find out which one of these is more powerful. And in certain situations, we are going to be cutting wood and metal. And yes, it's going to be a good one. So please subscribe to the channel and please like this video and please share this channel. Uh, this channel does these tests all the time and it's actually designated for that. So let's look over the specs of these really quick and see, and how, uh, and see what the difference is between these guys. Alrighty, so we are going to do the Cobalt first. It is a brushless motor. We will be using a 4 amp hour ultimate output battery. The battery is full. This is model number KRS124B-03. And 0 to 3,000 strokes per minute. Now, like I say in all these videos that I do with recip saws, it doesn't matter. 3,000 strokes per minute is actually like a standard for most recip saws because it's that's a perfect speed for what you actually need the tool to do that's the difference though this is a 24 volt uh max tool and we will see in how well this actually performs now i didn't actually do a video on this yet which i do not know why uh and so yeah let's see what i just did a, a short demonstration in, a, in the kit i got this with but yeah let's see what this could actually do uh in this video for the ryobi this is the OnePlus HP compact uh, system that just came out. We will be using a 4 amp hour HP battery. Battery is full. All right, so this is the new, the new unique design for Ryobi. Hopefully they, they stay this route from here on out because this is not just a sticker. It, it is actually a molding. So this is model number PSBRS01. And this goes to 3,000 strokes, uh, zero to 3,000 strokes per minute as well. There is a single LED light above the shoe. And the same thing with the, the Cobalt, single uh, LED light above the shoe. Now, both of these are brushless motors, and I think this will be a good one. Uh, for recip saws, the specs are easy, zero, zero to 3,000 strokes per minute. Now, there is one bad thing about the Cobalt, is the shoe is not an articulating shoe, and the Ryobi is an articulating shoe. So you could adjust that to the curve or uh, wherever it is you're cutting. And for the Cobalt, you do need to adjust the chuck like that to get you the blade in there. And for the Ryobi, you just pull on this lever and you could put your blade inside. So I like that feature. All right, but uh, yeah, let's see what this can do against each other. I have no clue who's gonna win. Remember when you work with gloves and safety glasses? Got mine right here. These blades are equally used. That's how you put that in. And this is how you put the Ryobi in, which I like. I like that, just do that then. Lock it in place, then you're good to go. All right, so we are gonna cut a two by four, a four by four, and a four by six, and then we're gonna cut a two and a half inch pipe. We're gonna cut this like that, then I'm gonna flip this on its side, then we're gonna cut it like that as well. So let's do the cobalt first. The cobalt is full, battery is full. All right, so right here is good, ready? Go. Time. Let's do Ryobi next. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. I do not know the test results until I edit the video. 
So I am actually curious in how well these are doing, but I, I do not know. Let's turn that on its side really quick. All right, let's do the cobalt. We're only going to uh, check the battery one more time, and that's going to be at the end of the video and see which battery used less energy. All right, so ready? Go. <laughs> I love that smell of cut wood, freshly cut wood. I love that smell. All right, so ready? Go. Time. It feels like the cobalt got that one. It, feel, it does feel like the cobalt got that one. All right, so let's flip this up one more time. These are wood with nails, so let's actually throw a few nails in there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we are gonna do two cuts each. I'm gonna do them one right after the other. Where is my line? So the end of the nail is right here. So this line is the end of the nail. All right, so ready, go. One, I'm just gonna stop the timer and restart it. Just make sure that's secure. Continue. Last one, continue. It is Ryobi's turn. Two nails. All right, let's, all right, so ready? Go. Oh. There was a delay on that one. You can see the burn mark right there. There was a delay. All right, continue. Time. Last cut. All right, so continue. Time. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Here is a fresh one. All right, let's continue with the cobalt. These tools are still cold. No reason for temperature reading. They're still cold. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Wow. Time, it, str it struggled at one point about right here. Struggled at a certain point within the middle. But there you go. Two. Done. These are nice. These are, these are really, really nice blades. These are really nice blades. All right, so ready? Go.
time. Wow, that took a little while. That took a little while. All right, based on how long that took, we're, we're just gonna do one cut of this. All right, Ryobi is next. Let's see in how long Ryobi takes. All right, so ready? There we go, ready, go. Wow, that took a lot of effort. That one took a lot of effort. I bet you these are still just cool. 99, 83, they're still cold. 87 in most of the area. 87 degrees for the cobalt. 82, yeah, 80, 85, same thing. They're both still cold. They're both still cold. Alrighty, as you can see, we have two, two and a quarter inch pipe. Two and a quarter inch pipe right here. All right, first we are gonna do cobalt. We're, we'll, do, we'll do two cuts in a row. We'll do two cuts in a row. Right here is good. We'll check on the battery status at the end of the video. All right, so uh, I'll show you now. Batteries at three bars. Batteries at three bars. All right, so ready? Go. We'll just do one cut each. We always at two bars. So the the, uh, the cobalt is saving using less energy than the Ryobi is. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Time. Nope, not, no burning smell. No, it just sounds, they both smell like they're just a working motor. But you gotta give Ryobi credit, you guys. Ryobi came a long way since many years ago. Like, like back in the day, if this came out back in like 10 years ago, this would have been fried out already, but it's actually doing a good job. Final temperature reading, of, well, first final battery life on the cobalt is two bars. Final temperature reading, 99, 93, 97, 97 degrees. All right, and for the Ryobi, the final battery life is two bars still. And the final temperature is 97, 
99, up, oh, 97 degrees. About the same. They are about the same. Which one of these won? I honestly do not know. I find the test results out when I edit the video. But when it comes to single handed recip, recip saws, what I just did is majorly like out of its pay grade. I put these tools through so much stress to see if the motor breaks or fries out. That's why I do these tests. Because these are mainly used for cutting just like a two by four or pruning or small pipes, you know, like uh, three quarter, one inch pipes, you know, here and there. But these are able to do so much more, but they're not designed to, for to do so much more. That's why I do these tests because I want to see if I can get one to break. But I, that, that's one thing I love is I love single handed recip saws. They have a great purpose. They're convenient, you don't need two hands to operate it, and you can hold your object, your cutting, and the tool at the same time, and you have more control. You know, it doesn't have as much power as the Bigger Brothers does, but you have more control with these, and they're great for doing lawn work as well. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining and you needed to see if a single-handed recip saw can do the job you want it to do, when it comes to these two brands, I will be getting more. Please like this video, please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in, I'll see you guys next time.